Aries. This y'all weekly message. Thank y'all for kicking in with me. Thank y'all for being a subscriber. I really appreciate it. I appreciate the love and the support. I appreciate all of my new flock followers on TikTok and on here. And thank y'all for all the bookings that y'all been booking. If y'all ever want to send me a deck of cards, all that information is below. If you want a personal message, that information is below as well. Um, y'all got broken, but I'm healed by Byron Cage. And apparently y'all been going through something, Aries. And it was meant and designed to break you. It was meant and designed to make you feel less than. It was meant and designed to break you down, make you question who you were, make you lose yourself. You losing yourself is not worth it though. It's not worth you losing your sanity. It's not worth you losing your peace of mind. You've been praying a lot. Going to God a lot. A lot meditating. Trying to manifest a better situation. Now we got Anthony Hamilton. I'm a mess. Anthony Hamilton is Aquarius. You've been up in your head. And then when I was shuffling the deck. The bottom of the deck is not a swords. So you definitely been all up in your head. Then when I was shuffling, this popped out. But I'll read it after I ground. So looking at all the signs and synchronicities, y'all have a lot on your mind. You have a lot that's weighing on you. Pressure, stress. You letting things, situations, people get to you. When you're weak, you beat, Aries. You got this. Hold your head up. Don't let nothing stop you or deter you. Don't let nothing break you down. You'd have been through the most already. You're not eating properly. You're not sleeping properly. You just can't get away from the reality of what you going, got going on. This is just a test. So you can get to that testimony. You feel like you closed in. You feel like you caged in. But this too shall pass. Remember that. Now that's from. to read this card and then it has a white dove on the back maybe white doves are significant maybe there's a death that's coming and if there is a death or you recently had someone to pass away my condolences I'm sorry for your loss this reads you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through the turmoil, a blessings will soon be revealed. Now, I already just said all of that, and I didn't really read this card. I just read the first sentence. This one reads... Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. 
So know that you're destined to get everything that you want. You're destined to get your wish fulfillment. But you need to believe that. You may be going on a journey. You might be going on a trip. You may be packing your bag soon to go on a trip. For whatever the case may be. You need to know that the test that you're going through is just to provide you with a testimony. We got come through by her. Her is a cancer. So you think about sliding through by your boot. Or you want your boot to slide through to you. You want this person to call out their plans for you. You ready to meet up and slide through. You getting faded and you thinking about this person. Thinking about working with a particular person. Thinking about investing in a particular person. Remember you do have new love coming. Yeah, the old love may have been fucked up lessons. Yeah, the old love may have been treacherous, toxic. What you learn from those mistakes. And now you're getting the love that you deserve. Now you're getting the blessing from the universe. And the blessing is in love. With your true love. The one that you're supposed to be with. I just saw this card. Eight of coins. Somebody that you can invest in. Somebody that you can work in with. Somebody you can collaborate with. Someone that gives an equal give and take. Someone that you see development with. Someone that you can pass on the baton with. Someone that equally yokes you. Someone that you can truly invest in. You want to go out with a particular person? Are you planning a date with a particular person? That's cute. Look. Cute. Aries, that's cute. Let's see what else you got going on, Aries. See how that's about to flip out my hand? Y'all got a lot of shit going on. A lot of shit. Four of Swords and the King of Wands. So you took a break. You sat back and meditated and grounded your energy before you started going on, on a new venture. Before you started to move approach and go towards your new goals. You planning on hitting somebody up. Chip featuring LMA. LMA is a Scorpio. So you trying to you ready to hit somebody up. Somebody puts a smile on your face. Somebody makes you happy. You ready to Maybe spend some time. Maybe it's going to be at night time. Maybe you're going to be getting it in at night time. Because he sure got his wine ready. Ready to jump in. Ready to dive in that ocean. Maybe you going on a little date night at night. Y'all going to be out to the morning light. Late hours. Night hours, 
Doing some stargazing. Ending up knocking the boots. There's somebody in particular that you want to hit up. Somebody in particular you want to be with. Five of Swords. Somebody you've been in conflict with. What you want to reunion with. Or do you think that you think I don't give a fuck? That's what that song just said. You defensive. You are ready to take action towards a conflicting situation with a particular person. Someone that is, you see as your perfect match. Someone that you are ready to reconcile with. Someone that you see marriage with. Someone that you see happiness with. Celebration with. When you think about this person, they put a smile on your face. Being in their presence makes you happy. You feel comfortable and safe with them. I'm hearing um, comfortable by, by her. This person feels comfortable with you. You make them feel loved. And that's the truth. This person has been up in their head. This person's been up in their head about you. They've had some type of light, like light bulb will go off and realize who you are. Realizing that they've been holding themselves back from this happily ever after. They've been holding themselves back from this happiness. And they're ready to come towards you. They've had to deal with some spiteful people. People that's been out to get them. Betray them. Some of us more sneaky people. Betrayed people. People that wore masks. Your person is just finding out who these people are. What was their true intent. These people was deceitful. They hid behind a mask. But then your person, this, these people, they hid behind a mask, possibly doing black magic, being sneaky, being manipulative. These people was someone that they thought that they were supposed to be with. But the whole time, these people had a hidden agenda. The whole time, it was just sex. It was no love. It was all about money, tangible items. It was about getting whatever they can get to benefit them. Someone that you took a lot of sacrifices with. Someone that you felt Someone that you felt that took advantage of you, 
kept you tied up. Someone that you try to grow with, someone that you try to, you always was generous with, you always gave to, but this person gave nothing to you. Could have been a Gemini. Could have been a mother figure, someone you have a child with. This person is ready to make the necessary sacrifices to come towards you because they want this Ten of Pentacles with you. They want to grow with you. They want to invest in you. And this person also found out that they was investing in somebody that was deceitful, somebody that was wearing a mask, someone that had a lot of skeletons in their closet, someone that turned out to be a liability and not an asset. We got lost and found by Trey Songs. It was with this person was from the past. This person wants to run to you. For sure. They've learned lessons about sneaky individuals. They've learned message learned lesson. They might have got a message about this, but they learned lessons in regards to people closest to them, manipulated them, lied to them, played them for a fool, was only around to deceive them. Ace of Coins. So this person has been working on their new beginning, investing in themselves, working on their money. Maybe they had to have a start over or they had to restart. You know? They had to have a redo, they had to restart. Because the person that they was dealing with, this was somebody that tempted them. This was somebody that threatened them. This is someone that was, would be manipulating them. This is someone that they couldn't see them being toxic. Maybe some people tried to warn them or maybe they did know that they were toxic. But they ignored them being toxic. They ignored them being spiteful lovers. Yeah, an emperor and a moon card. So some type of secret came out. Some type of secret came out to you, Aries, from this past person. And it made it cause you to be guarded. It caused you to feel Yeah, he was guarded. Queen of Swords. Definitely dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What they got in their chart. Somebody was very strategic. They were strategic in trying to bring you down. Strategic in trying to end you. Strategic in trying to send you straight to the grave. Doing the most. Waiting on your downfall. Praying for your downfall. Somebody was manipulative, toxic. You could have had a child with this person. This person was manipulative with their words. They was the type of person, if you look at this, and she looked a little crazy. Look. Crazy, exhausted. Wore many sides to them. Could have been a Capricorn. Somebody that tried to destroy you. 
by any means necessary. Take you for all you had. Maybe you lost a lot with this person. This person was obsessive. This person was for the streets. This person liked to party. Be, be seen. Known for what they had materially. Somebody that you was guarded from. Somebody who you actually see who the real them is. You see you taking off these glasses. And now you determine to walk away from this person. See? Trying to make a decision. Not gonna cry. This is somebody who's married to. Not gonna cry about Mary J. Blige. Capricorn. Besides the kids, I have nothing to show. I told you somebody had a child with somebody. And now you see this person for the real them. Now you see this person being fake. Now you see this person for who they truly were the whole time. Somebody got brown eyes. This caused you to go into hermit mode. You had to do some soul searching. This made you vulnerable. You might have lost everything with this person. Or because of this person. Because of their manipulative ways. Because of their partying ways. Because of their toxic ways. They didn't spend. They didn't save money. They spent all the money. They didn't leave things for a rainy day. See? We got the devil card and I mean a deck card and the ace of wands together. So that's why you had to have this ending in order to get this new beginning. You had to leave this person and when you left this person, when this ending happened, they could have green eyes too. Somebody can have brown eyes. Somebody can have green eyes. Somebody got shoulder length hair. Y'all could be dealing with a Leo or another fire sign. Or they can have earth in their chart. But you're standing up for what you believe in. You're no longer being blindfolded or blindsided by the truth about this person. You're seeing things for what it is. You realize you have to walk, if you have to walk away from with nothing, you'd rather do that and leave this person to have this new passionate beginning. But you realize that you have to walk away from possibly a baby mama or somebody you've been in a long-term commitment in order to have your peace of mind, in order to start living life again. Because this person that you was with, they was determined for you to lose. They was determined for you to go and be without. They wanted you to lose everything since you was leaving them, since you was ending things. Because they was codependent on you. It was codependent on you and your funds. You made this person. You made this person who they was because you was a provider. Undone, Young Blue, Aries, Paradise, Her. Answer. Can I tell y'all her? I said her. Scorpio, Scorpio, Libra, Sagittarius, Virgo, number five and number three. This can happen by the third 
of the month, the fifth of the month, could be in three days, could be in five days. Somebody could be the age of 35. Somebody's birthday can be on the fifth or on the third. Either Scorpio, Sagittarius, Virgo, or Libra season. Or maybe the third or the fifth of those seasons is relevant. Anywho, this is y'all weekly message. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Make sure y'all comment because I do enjoy y'all comments. And until next time, y'all be easy.